In this tutorial, I'll teach you what NPM is. NPM is not one, not two, but three different things. And all these three different things combine together to form this experience, which is super helpful as an OJS developer. I'll teach you what they are in this tutorial. Okay, so what is NPM? NPM used to stand for Node Package Manager, but apparently it doesn't anymore. You're not supposed to call it Node Package Manager, but you can think of it as Node Package Manager. So what is a package manager? This is something that a lot of different languages and a lot of programming environments have. The idea of something that manages your packages. Let's take an example of a third-party library. Let's say you're working on a Node.js application and you need to use a third-party library, let's say Lodash. Lodash is a very popular third-party library which a lot of people use in JavaScript to manipulate lists and collections to manipulate objects. It has a lot of utility methods, which is super handy. So let's say you want to use Lodash and add it to your Node.js project. We've looked at what a Node.js project looks like. It's just a bunch of JavaScript files sitting in a folder. Now, if you want to add a third-party library, there's one way you can do it. You can go to the website, Lodash website, and then you have the source for the library available there. Note that this is JavaScript, so there isn't like a compiled or a binary version. The source is the final version. At best, you would have something, the final version, which is kind of like a minified, compacted version of that source. But what you need to get is the actual JavaScript file. So you can say, okay, I want to use Lodash. So I'm going to go to the website, download the source, the minified source maybe, but you're going to download the source, save it as a file in your project, and then require it. You know how to require a file which is in the same folder. If not, check out the previous video. But this is one way to do this. You can go to all third-party library websites, download the source, or go to GitHub where the code is hosted, download the source files, and keep it in your project. There are a few problems here, though. One, what if you have too many of those and you want to hand over the project to someone else and have them work on it? You have one of two options. You can say, okay, I'm going to copy all the dependencies that I've downloaded, kind of make it a part of the project and hand that whole thing over to whoever else is working on it. Or you can say, hey, these are the libraries and these are the third-party dependencies that I'm using. Go download them and do exactly what I did. Right? This is, these are the two ways you can hand off a project that you're working on, which uses third-party dependencies to somebody else. So if you're using the first approach, which is bundling everything together, there is a risk of those libraries being outdated and let's say you're using one version and then they're using another version. How do you keep them up to date? How do you keep them on par, right? You need to make sure all the, all the libraries are in sync. Uh, the disadvantage of not having the libraries be a part of the project and having them downloaded is, of course, the convenience issue, right? You want to have them download all the 10 libraries going to all the 10 websites. You want to avoid that. This is why uh, JavaScript 2 has a package manager. Node.js ecosystem has a package manager, and that is NPM. What NPM does is this. First, it has a repository, right? It's a repository that's online, and it is managed by a company called NPM Inc. Okay, so what they do is they have a place where all third party library developers can publish their libraries. Okay, the author of Lodash publishes the Lodash you know, the final JavaScript file to the NPM repository, okay? So all, all the major libraries do that, and you can create your own library and publish your library to NPM, okay? Give it a unique name, and then post it to the NPM online repository. That's the first thing. Second, when you create a project, a node project, we've seen the project is just a folder, which is JavaScript files, okay? But how about this? Using NPM, when you create a project, NPM is going to add one file to your project. It's called package.json. Package.json has a lot of utilities, but one of the things it does is it lists all the dependencies in the versions. Okay, let's say your project uses Lodash version 4.5. Okay, so package.json is going to contain, okay, this project uses Lodash at version 4.5. Okay, now how does this help? The way this helps is if I were to give this project to somebody else, I don't have to give them Lodash. I don't have to even tell them that these are the versions of these dependencies that I'm using. I give them my source and I give them package.json and package.json is going to contain all the information about the dependencies. What that person is going to do is they're going to get that project and they're going to run an NPM command 
on that project. And what that NPM command is going to do is it's going to look at package.json and say, hey, these are the dependencies that I need to get. So it's going to go to this NPM repository, which contains all the, all the artifacts and all the JavaScript files, remember? So it's going to go there. It's going to download all the dependencies at the right version. That's going to make it available in your project. OK? Now, you're actually managing multiple things at once. You're managing versions. You're managing libraries. And you're making sure that the versions are consistent and the development process is easy. OK, so this is what NPM does. And again, like I said, NPM is comprised of three things. First is the online repository. OK, it is what hosts all the different libraries and all the third party dependencies online. Second, it is a command line utility. OK, so somebody who gets the project can run npm install, which is the command to install all the dependencies. What that command is going to do is it's going to look at this file called package.json, and that's going to contain all the dependencies, right? So when npm install looks at package.json and says, these are the libraries and these are the dependencies that I need to get, it's going to go to that online repository, it's going to download those dependencies, and it's going to make it available in your project. The third thing, which npm, the term npm is associated with, is the organization npm inc which manages this infrastructure somebody has to take care of this thing that's online right so that is managed by npm inc now this is the website which is npmjs.com and uh, here you can see that they have a pro uh, version so they have private packages and a whole lot of other features where you need to pay for it but for open source it's pretty much free, okay? And uh, here, if you look at the about company, here is where it says that there are actually four things, okay? NPM is a package manager for Node.js. NPM registry is a public collection of packages. NPM is a command line client, which allows developers to install and publish. And then NPM Inc. is the company. I kind of associated these two as one because it's basically the command npm that you install. So if you open your terminal and type npm-v, this gives you the version of npm. And you didn't install this separately. It came installed with Node. It's kind of like the de facto uh, package managing solution for Node.js. So this is what lets you manage your dependencies. And I will show you how in the next tutorial where we're gonna be creating a new project using NPM. We didn't use this so far. We were able to write some code. We are able to write Node.js programs. But with NPM, the situation is a little bit different. And the biggest help that it's going to give you is managing these dependencies in third-party libraries. So we're going to create a project and have it depend on a third-party library. We're going to install a third-party library using NPM in the next tutorial. So let's check it out.